I shouldn't have to say how much trouble these two little dudes was in, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> they was in trouble. Oh, wait. Not only were they not supposed to be out the house without their mom's permission, they also don't have licenses, which means they knew if they called the police and the police asked whose car it was and they said it was theirs, they would have to show some form of ID. There was going to be even more trouble. So what did these idiots do? They Ubered home, went to bed as if nothing happened. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? But this is a PSA for all the young folks out there thinking of lying to your folks about anything. Once you tell a lie, you have to tell more lies to keep up with the one you told in the first place and that could be hard to keep up with so it's just best to keep it g that way you don't have to write a whole james family tree worth of lies and y'all know it's a lot of james family members out there rain raiden come down here now well that's my cue to get the hell out the way where's the maybach maybach you bought a maybach rain because i don't know about no May boy shut the hell up before i knock you out since ray didn't don't know ray what you got to say ma all i got to say is i ain't even want no maybach that was raiden oh so you coming like a baby back bitch huh i thought you wanted me to tell the truth oh so raiden was lying that's crazy you twins and you ain't got your story straight before you came down here what story ain't no story ma we've been at home lies oh god we've been at home so where's the maybach it's not outside okay let me go back to the snitch ray where's the maybach Maybach? What Maybach? Oh, so now you lying to me? I thought you didn't want me to snitch. I'm so confused. So am I. Ray and Raiden, I don't remember anybody asking me to go to a party. Oh my God. Yeah, you better call on him because I'm going to beat y'all ass from here to the police station. Wait, Ma, let me explain. Go on, explain. Oh, I thought you was going to cut me off. I ain't had nothing to say for real. And this is why I remind y'all of all the pain I went through giving birth to y'all. You know... It took 26 hours to deliver y'all. How come the time goes up every time you tell this story? You know what else can get up? <laughs> this pole. Oh my God. You right. No, you, you right. It was about 50 11 hours. Mama. You goddamn right it was. It turns out the smart side of the boys came from their mother. She actually had a tracking device installed in a Maybach because she honestly knew that the boys would pull something dumb as soon as they could. So needless to say, she was alerted to the car being stolen as well as the odd speed that the car was going at and had a friend on the force stop the car before it was completely gone for good. See, all my little kids out there, mothers do know best. They always somehow two steps ahead of our mess ups. But outside of that, the twins were making more money and it was Ray that everyone was looking towards. He had just been named the high school Gatorade player of the year and Gatorade wanted to lock in a deal with him to be in the next commercial magazine profiles the whole nine yards and I'm not going to lie this had Raiden feeling a little left out he wasn't the happiest kid in the world at this time with Ray technically being the oldest Raiden always felt secondhand to his brother which is why he always felt the need to do extra things while Ray stood on the sideline being quiet perfect example is what we just witnessed I think Raiden just needed to stop being so hard on himself because without him ray wouldn't be as successful they were a package deal or at least that's how ray felt about it see senator your it's your boy yg and we are back on the nba 2k24 ray and ray in my career aka these are Bayou James' sons, a.k.a. They granddaddy is Levertical James, a.k.a. Thunder and Lightning and Chat. Listen, I don't know what these twins is going, what they got going on, man, but listen, they in trouble, you know what I mean? But what's more troubling is that the twins don't have that twin synergy right now, man. My boy Raiden is feeling a little left out, especially since his brother just got named Gatorade Player of the Year. But that's okay, man. Raiden has a whole nother senior year to prove that he does deserve that trophy. If not for the first time in history, the twins win the Gatorade Player of the Year together? I don't know. I don't want to do too much. But we got the last game of the regular season, and then we get into the Geico Nationals in the next episode so i hope you guys are scrapped in let's start talking about it let's go ahead be about it poppy yes got it yes sir them boys walking in they don't even know what they walking into chat <laughs> walking into a whole ass whooping you see my boy raiding getting off the bench ray the gatorade high school player of the year and chat listen man 
<laughs> these boys have ran through the season. They are undefeated. Like they said, they will be next on the list is to win that Geico Nationals. So, if you ready for it, I'm ready for it. Poppy singing for the one time. Jump ball, get it, get it. Jump ball, get it, get it. Jump ball, get it. Oh, Lord. Let's go and get it to it, Poppy. And, and for once in our season, we are not starting down, man. We we up two right now. Throwing the lob. Wait a minute, Raiden. Go on, get it. <laughs> the lob, the twin synergy looks like it's back in full effect. Raiden holding in his feelings for the greater good. Pulling up. Bang. You know what I mean? And that's what we need, man. That's the type of selflessness that they've been taught by their grandparents. Give me that block, though. I done switched on a Raiden. They didn't took Ray out of the game. And now it's time for my man Raiden to prove why. <laughs> he probably should have also won that award, man. But looks like only one can be given. Hey, and, and, and to keep it a beam, look at the lob again. Keep it a beam, man. The, the money that Gatorade is sending to Ray is going into a joint account. It's got Ray and Raiden's name on it, so... Raiden shouldn't be too salty, but it is what it is. Pulling up with that yumper. You know it's wet. Don't even do him like that. And Raiden out here dishing the lobs. Look at the pass. Look at the vision. Bang. The boys is hooping right now, man. This game should not be the spoiler of the entire season. We cannot lose this game. Raiden in that man's pocket. Ray dribbling it up. Finding him. Should have been at any one. Antoine. But we'll take the bucket, right? 31 to 24 right now. Calling for the screen. I see bro got his take. So that's what I'm going to give him. I'm going to give him his lobs. I'm going to keep getting the assist. Being the player that Raiden actually is. And that is emulating Bayou James. And right here, it's about to get real ugly. It's some light, but they should know by now not to jump with the Gatorade High School Player of the Year. Look at the any one and one. Raiden is turning up right now. And a lot of you guys, you're probably happy seeing this. Look at the body, though. They need a timeout like that's going to stop it. The body for Ray, he has caught two of them. And this is his third lob being caught. Oh, my Lord. This is the type of performance you expect to see from a player of his caliber, especially coming off winning that award. Get that out of here. And he's beating on his chest. He's a beast. <laughs> Thunder and lightning. True words have never been spoken to describe these two. Lose the ball and look at Raiden. Tough take. The grit is turned on right now. Getting aboard. He's got four of them with 15 points and six assists. Going coast to coast with it. 360 layup. Wait a minute. <laughs> Whoa. And they need a timeout after that. And you see that boy Raiden is really turned up right now as he should be. But listen, chat. It only goes downhill for the other team after this right here. Catch my man slipping. Give me that. Oh. Thought I had it, but that's okay. I <laughs> We refuse to be embarrassed, especially our last game of the season right here. <laughs> I'm saucing this man up, sizing him up. Hey! Right in. Uh, wait a minute. Give me that. Raiden has really turned into his father, Bayou James, undersized. Didn't believe in him. <laughs> this is a huge statement game right now for Raiden, and we're going to keep it going with another contact lob dunk. And again, man, you got to check the score, bro. I'm not really beating these boys too badly. 58 to 54, getting another block and the board. Got 19 points, five rebounds, seven assists. And like I said, this is Raiden's statement game. Spin off to the dunk. Oh my Lord. You really got to see it for what it is. Raiden said, hey, give me that Gatorade player of the year. I got to go bananas. 
right here, throwing the lob of God damn. What the hell is going on? <laughs> on this court, they not at home. Right here, passing it back. Jamie up again, and they need a timeout, but it don't matter. That timeout just made it worse because I'm calling for the screen yet again. I'm trying to see Big Bro go crazy. <laughs> and that is enough. 66 to 57 is the final rating with 21.6 boards and 10 assists. Went nuts in the final game of the season. Listen, the Geico Nationals, whoever they go up against, I, I promise you they don't stand a chance you hear me not a chance in the world but i hope you guys did enjoy this video man if you did make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up subscribe turn on post notifications if you are new to the channel and you want to see some more nba 2k content just like this and i got you guys and look at big gatorade player of the year getting interviewed with the gatorade around his neck oh wait but until the next one man peace